Hey, hi guys. Very quick video about replacing such fluorescent light bulbs. You can see I have two different types. One has a little bit uh, cooler white. One has a little bit uh, warmer light on the left side. The problem was that the one on the left side was damaged or was not working anymore. I mean, it was not really damaged, just not working anymore. And so I needed a replacement. And I was looking online on Amazon and on Home Depot and on Lowe's to find something really suitable. But I found out that a lot of manufacturers are producing LEDs in the meantime. But, but all models which I've found online, they are saying that you cannot use them with the starter and you cannot use them with the ballast. So you have to remove that. You have to rewire the whole thing. And I've seen some videos and it's definitely not an easy thing, not something which I recommend to do for everybody. And so I was tired looking for an LED which would work with the normal installation and just went into my car, drove to Home Depot. And so that's what I found. I was just looking for F32 T8. I think T8 in my case was important. And then I saw 3000K, which is a rather warm white, cozy, inviting, bright. Everything was looking really good. And also the price seemed to be okay with around $13 for a two pack. So I grabbed it and was walking towards the checkout, was having another look at the box. And then I just realized that it says LED and I thought, oh my gosh, I have the wrong one because the LEDs are not working with the starter and the ballast. But then I saw, okay, that says direct replacement replaces your current fluorescent tube. It's even shutter resistant. And down here it says easy and quick to install requires no rewiring ballast remains intact. So I thought, okay, maybe let's give it a try. And so I just took one out and put it back here. And so I'm going to the switch here and turn it on and off a couple of time. And you can see the difference to the old one. And there's absolutely no difference. You can see both turn on and off exactly at the same time. There is no delay, no nothing, absolutely no problem so far. I mean, of course, it's only my second day here, but that's a real positive surprise. I think the light quality is also pretty good. I would say at least decent for a garage, nothing to complain. Bright, white, warm light. The light is a little bit shorter. I mean, you can see there's some black part here on the ends, which reduces maybe the light effect a little bit, but I'm definitely not worried. I mean, there's also a cover which I have. I didn't want to put the cover on before making the video. Maybe I'll replace also the second bulb then immediately. So I have some consistent light and then put the cover back. But till now, I'm definitely pretty happy with it. I'm not affiliated with this company or so. And so that's the situation after replacing both of the light tubes and adding the cover and now it looks much better. Yeah, it was definitely worse to replace both of the light tubes. If I find it online, I will also put down a link where you can order it down into the description. Maybe you can also order it online from Home Depot. I don't know. So I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video sharing my experience replacing such a fluorescent bulb with an LED without rewiring. If you have any questions or comments or want to share your own experience with such a replacement, then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.